Today on Here for the Right Reasons. Colton Underwood says I do as Clayton and Susie reunite. Plus, Kayla Miller-Keys and Hannah Godwin gear up for their weddings. Emily Ferguson welcomes her first child. And Artasia and Luke looking for rings. We've got that plus so much more on today's Here for the Right Reasons. Hey guys, Christina Garibaldi here with Us Weekly Deputy Editor Sarah Heron. Sarah, welcome back. We missed you. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here after looking at these photos of Tasha and Luke. Oh my God. So crazy. Before we get into it all, let's see what you guys had to say about last week's show. Aglaia said, I would say that this is the first time I've truly been both surprised and saddened by the breakup of a reality TV couple. It's so unfortunate that Brandon and Serene did not work out as they are both such sweet individuals. I hope that they are both okay and will find happiness and peace in their future. This one surprised me too. Yeah, it surprised me. I forgot that that happened last week when I wasn't here. I think it's one of those couples that everyone was rooting for. No one had a bad thing to say about Brandon or Serene. Mm -hmm. So you kind of just assume they're going to make it. And then when they break up, you're like, oh, like, I'm sad. I kind of just filed you away as success, you know? Right. Yes. No, I really like from the day that they saw each other, I was like, okay, these two are definitely going to like be like end game. They're going to make it down the aisle. So, but you know, it's sometimes it just it doesn't work out after you meet somebody and get engaged after six weeks. So. It's not quite the foundation for everyone, which we it's have. Not. Yes, it is not. But we have, um, and then Kathy says, I like them both, but I don't think Peter and Kelly are a good match. You will know when you know. I'm so I'm still kind of surprised at this one. I don't know why. Really? You thought they were going to work this time around? Yeah, I don't know why, but... Uh, oh. There is something to be said for they've both like been through so much together that it almost would feel like coming out the other side does kind of make sense at this point, but I'm sure there's stuff we don't know. I think Peter might still have a little bit of growing up to do, but that's just so. my opinion. I think so, too. And I, I think I've said it every single week since we knew that they broke up. I feel like he's going to be on Paradise this season. I think so, too. Yeah, I definitely think so. All right, well, moving on some happy news for Colton Underwood. He and Jordan C. Brown are officially married after more than two years of dating. They posted on Instagram, the Brown Underwoods. Uh, they got married on May 13th and um, at the Caneros Resort and Spa in Napa Valley. It looks beautiful. They revealed back in February of 2022 that they were taking the next step in their um, in, in the next step in their relationship and planning their wedding. It looked absolutely beautiful. Olivia Wilde was there, which was kind of random. <laughs> yeah, wearing a wedding dress um, right. and said, quote, the groom's approved. She gave a toast. Jordan C. Brown is like a political guy who actually has a lot of A-list connections so him and Olivia Wilde have been friends for a long time mm -hmm. I know that he also is like friendly with Sophia Bush Colton and Jordan were at Sophia Bush's wedding last summer and from what I can see the only bachelor related person in attendance was Chris Harrison mm -hmm. um, and Lauren Zima so remember when Colton came out and kind of did all these interviews and made these like blanket statements like the only person who supported me was Chris Harrison and then you had like Nick Vile and Ben Higgins being like we beg to differ Wells um, and you know Colton for obvious reasons, Colton is a complicated one. I think a lot of people, obviously, if you read the comments on the post, are still like bringing up everything that happened with Cassie, which was completely unacceptable behavior. Um, and it feels crazy that he's married now. It kind of feels quick, but hopefully when you know, you know. Right, exactly. When you know, you know. But like, like you said, a lot of people are still divided on how they feel about um, Colton. And, you know, it, it did move pretty quickly. If you think about what happened to him like three years ago at this point, a lot has changed in his life. <laughs> three years ago at this point, Colton had COVID and was promoting his book about right. called The First Time about sleeping with Cassie about like the whole book. I mean, it's, it's honestly a crazy read now because the whole book is kind of like denying, like it's about his sexuality, but also saying that like everything people have always said isn't true. And like how he came to terms with like accepting himself as a straight man. Right. And then obviously it kicked off the chain of events of the breakup with Cassie, the stalking, the restraining order, which was dropped, the reality show coming out and now married. Like, what a journey. What a, what a journey in a short amount of time. But hopefully, you know, good for them. Hopefully they have a beautiful marriage and, you know, kind of he can move on a little bit. But yeah, like you said, dicey past. So people are definitely going to have some opinions on that one. Absolutely. Well, someone else who's getting ready to walk down the aisle, controversial in a different way. Right. Very safe controversies here with Kaylin and Dino. It's just a fun little debate, nothing crazy. But she did have a 
bridal shower, a little traditional moment for uh, De- Dean and Galen. She wrote, the bridal shower of my dreams. I felt so loved this weekend. It's always fun getting together with family and friends. This weekend was absolutely perfect. So she was in Vegas, which is where Dean and Kaylin live, and they stayed in the luxurious suite at the Palms Casino. She shared snaps from the room with herself posing in front of a light pink couch with a white purse that said bride, because what else? Right. Um, she showed off some highlights from the brunch um, and a bunch of uh, Her friends were there. They, you know, of course, had some cocktails and calamari and avocado toast and dessert and, you know, all that jazz. So good for Kaylin. Good for Kaylin. I feel like they are like in high gear with wedding planning. You know, they got their fourth ring, hopefully the last. She's planning, right? She's planning. uh, She just had her beautiful bridal shower and I'm sure bachelorette parties next. So it seems like they are well on their way. I wonder what their wedding's going to look like if it's going to take on this traditional feel that they've kind of been putting forward with like their wedding festivities like their lead-up events there'll be one thing that's so weird or yes. one comment made that will be overshadowed and, and like blown out of proportion because that's the dean and galen way but i think the majority of it will also be like pretty and classy because she i mean at her core it feels like a, a girly girl mm-hmm. and, and loves all these things and she decided to live in a van and go hiking because of her love for dean mm-hmm. but i think at her core she wants a wedding and she's getting that after maybe a little bit of roadblocks. So I think there will be one or two things where we're like only Dean and Kaylin, but I also think it'll be traditional. That's my prediction. Definitely. I think it's, well, either way it's going to be beautiful, I'm sure. So I can't wait to see everything and um, wait for those pictures to come about. But um, let's start, move on to Becca and Thomas. They are going to be parents and she shared some footage about um, from the moment that she told Thomas that he was going to be a dad. So take a look. We're having a baby? I love this so much. And, you know, she uh, flash forward to earlier this month. They went back to the same spot um, where she told him she handed him over this Hallmark Christmas ornament featuring the uh, their baby's ultrasound picture. And she said, we made that. And he says, I'm going to be a daddy. And um, she said many tears were shed when they made this video. I I still can't believe she said, I'm so glad I can capture these beautiful moments of our growing family with Hallmark's keepsake ornaments. We already love our little bundle of joy so much. I can't wait to show him the most special ornament when he finally arrives. I I can't, I still can't believe that they're going to be parents, but they seem so happy, so in love and good for them. I know it's, it's, it's one of those ones that's like, we say it every time, like, right. Ben Thomas, beat the odds. But, you know, you think about Brandon and Serene breaking up, and that was something we thought guaranteed from Paradise, right? Becca and Thomas, everyone's super, like, you know, sarcastic about, didn't think it was going to work. And they're the ones who are, you know, having a baby, engaged, doing things their own way. So what's always so fun about Paradise is you only see what you get to see which is obviously the edit. And then we watch how things play out afterwards. And it makes you think like whoever we get next time, we should maybe think about the Becca and Thomas of it all and the Brandon and Serena Waltz and everything's not what it seems. Not what it seems, but it's so exciting. They're going to have a baby boy in just a few months. So good for them. Yes. Well, another former bachelor couple, Clayton and Susie, they, you know, have seemingly turned the corner in their post breakup friendship. They were making TikToks together, which is how, you know, in modern day bachelor nation that we're friends now. (laughs) Um, She captured a TikTok video, get ready with me to come see my ex as she headed to meet Clayton at the Nurses Week benefit concert hosted by Operation Happy Nurse at the Mavericks Beach House Club in San Diego. Um, After she documented her glam prep, she included footage from the moment that she saw Clayton on uh, last Friday. And he said, you can't just film me. He joked in the video and she said, I have to ask your permission. Whoa, God. Mm -hmm. And was kind of joking like, you know, we're not dating anymore. You can't just be filming me. And they made a few other TikToks, um, including one that was captioned, when you both get booked on an influencer trip and remember what it was like when you were dating, you realize how toxic I am for making you do this (laughs) and thinking I'm funny. I thought these were so cute. It's so nice that they are on good terms. And it seems like Clayton is on good terms with the majority of his exes from The Bachelor. 
It's honestly so crazy because if you look back in the last couple of years, like Clayton had one of the most controversial like endings mm-hmm. to a season. They were all crazy the last couple, which is like part of the point, I guess. But if you would have told me that like Gabby, Rachel and Susie, like were all making TikToks with Clayton, Clayton got to smile and joke about what was, he clearly took it all very hard when everything mm-hmm. was falling apart around him in the last year. And now they get to joke about it. They're in healthy places. Like, I feel like what's funny is we don't really see that a lot in The Bachelor. Yeah. And you would think maybe a couple of years ago it would have been more likely with less social media or like a decade ago. But I think maybe because it was like tabloids and like covers and more, I don't know, like bigger stream media that then maybe like they couldn't get away with it. But now it's like the season ends and people do kind of move on. Yeah. And mm-hmm. TikTok and these opportunities that they are given together, or maybe they're all just like a really mature group because we didn't really see Peter making TikToks with Maddie Pruitt. No, that's no, I don't think that was going to happen anytime soon. But it's so true. Yeah, we don't really see any exes really kind of overlapping at all. If you really think about it, it's kind of it just seems the like Clayton girls, just the Clayton girls. And, you know, they they all formed all the girls formed really close friendships as well. Obviously, Gabby and Rachel um, have a really close friendship, but it seems like everybody was very mature, handled things, you know, the right way after everything, especially after what Clayton did to all them. He would be the last person I probably talked to. I know. Maybe. Maybe it's because like Rachel and Gabby both got to be the bachelorette, both got to like, they're like, we're mad at Tino and mad at sure, yeah. Eric, so they're over Clayton. And then Susie and Clayton went through so much together emotionally that they only have like, wish each other the best. True. So like everyone kind of got what they wanted in some degree. Like it was a happy ending-ish, even though everyone's single. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Who knows? But good to see them back together, um, if only just for TikTok. Um, but this story is crazy. So uh, Tasha Adams and Bravo's Luke uh, Gumbertson were spotted looking at engagement rings at Tiffany's in New York City. So Page Six reported this, and they had some photos of them out and about shopping. And in one shot, Tasha can be seen staring at her left hand while trying on some rings. An eyewitness told Page Six that they were 100% looking at engagement rings and that they were very lovey-dovey and kissing while they shopped. Um, It was unclear if any purchases were made, but this seems fast. Yeah, just a little. I mean, when I first saw this photo, I was like, did Tasha and Luke like know this photo was being taken? But now the more I think about it, maybe like it would be like if I was in, well, maybe not I, because maybe they'd recognize me. But if you're in that store and you see those two, but the picture was perfectly when she was looking at her hand. I don't know. It's a little bit of a red flag, crazy, but also they haven't even like publicly spoken about each other. Like it was Lindsay Hubbard who posted that picture of them holding hands and like Dumois who has reported since like the end of last year that they've been like at bars together. Mm -hmm. So it would be a wild step if this was like their hard launch. So I kind of think maybe someone did catch them in the act. Yeah. Um, I bet maybe they were at Tiffany's to buy something else and maybe somebody else. Yeah. Let's look over at the rings and, you know, Tasha, this would be her third engagement ring. So she probably knows what she wants in case she forgot she was married to her college sweetheart before she was on the bachelor. Obviously she was engaged to Zach with her Neil Lane ring. Um, so maybe they were joking around or she was planting seeds. Um, or maybe it was, maybe it's serious. Maybe we're going to get it like since, city Maybe. Uh, marriage certificate before we know it who knows seriously i would uh, love to know what danielle from summer house thinks about this timeline <laughs> oh my god imagine <laughs> oh my god those episodes have been tough to watch tough to watch but yeah she would not approve of luke no. moving this quickly but i don't know i mean He's, you know, he's in his 40s. She's like in her, you know, mid 30s, I think. So maybe, you know, they're kind of like at the point in their life where they want to settle down. If you know, you know, and maybe they want to take this next step. I feel like Luke has wanted this for a long time. So that's true. And obviously, tasha has been around for a while now. We first met her on Colton season of yeah. the show. So think about how long she's been in the public eye, sure. attempted to date on TV, then date in private with her relationship with Zach ending and never really speaking about that. And we've seen Luke obviously on the show trying to get let go from the summer house universe a little bit but still be in the loop and then date Ashley Darby from Potomac like clearly you know and then now they're doing it a little differently by being quiet about it so I'm really curious about these two Tasha's always been like a little bit of a an asterisk for me of like I've had very pleasant interactions with her but like what aren't you telling me Tasha? what are you telling me and we still don't know really know what the deal is for summer house coming up this year for filming so who knows maybe they'll bring Luke back maybe Tasha will come I'm here for that honestly they need a reading like yeah. you read about so it would be smart to bring Luke and Tasha on Ooh. 
Oh, I like it. Bravo. Hope you're watching. Yes, <laughs> All right. Let's check to see what, um, who caught our attention on social media this week. Um, Emily Ferguson, well, you know, one of the twins, she had her first baby boy. His name is Beckham. He was born on May 12th. So happy mother's day to her. Very cute. Um, I'm sure her sister is probably right behind. <laughs> yeah. I think her sister's pregnant too, right? I think, I think so. <laughs> they it's hard to keep together, those two so I would imagine. Yeah. Well, congratulations for you yeah. twin and probably other for you twin as, as your other bundle of joy is coming, coming through. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hannah, um, from bachelor in paradise, she celebrated her bachelorette party this weekend. She captioned a bunch of photos saying bridal Barbie is here to stay. I feel like they've been planning this wedding for like 9,000 years. Yeah, it's honestly shocking to me. Um, but I think when you you do wait this long and now they're going like full force with the wedding stuff, like good for them. They were so young when they got engaged that it probably wouldn't have worked if they rushed down the aisle. Um, but now that it's been so long, they, you know, good for them. I, I, I would not have, again, another one I would not have picked probably to be making it to this point. So what do I know? What do we know? But all right. Well, that is it for this week's episode for Here for the Right Reasons. Let us know in the comments what you think about Tasha and Luke looking for rings. Um, do we think that they're going to last? Please let us know and keep commenting, keep, keep subscribing, and we will see you guys next week. Bye. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.